G'day guys, this is Tim here and with another flipper video and today we're going to be looking at the flipper pager app that was written by XmasterX. We're going to be testing this with my MMDVM hotspot. I'm not going to go into details on how to set this up but we'll use this with the remote command tool and we'll send a Poxag signal from here over to my Flipper Zero. This here is just MMDVM hat on just a standard Raspberry Pi. This is a Pi 3 or 3B and uh, it runs Pi Star on it. And we'll uh, hopefully be able to decode a signal. We'll go over to the computer now. So here we are with our command line open from onto our Pi Star, and uh, we're going to edit our our configuration file, the MMDVM configuration file to set it up. So we'll go to sudo nano slash etc forward slash Pi Star. No, MMDVM host, there it is. So we're in a read only environment, so I need to do RPI RW, turns it into read write mode, and now I can edit it. Now, if I go to Control W to search, we search for Poxag searching poxag enable to one and I'm pretty sure if we just leave this default frequency it is the same frequency as set up on our application so we'll go down to poxag pager receive messages 439 decimal 98 and yeah, 9875. So that should be okay. I can. And now, as long as you don't set, if we keep going down, there's Poxag Network. You can actually leave that as disabled and it will still work via command line. It just won't connect to the DAPnet servers, uh, which you can set up anyway. Uh, if you're going to set up the whole network and everything, you're better off to do it through the Pi Star interface than just editing MMDVM host. Because anytime you modify the interface, it'll overwrite your changes to this file. So we're going to Control X Y Enter to save. And now I need to restart it. So sudo service MMDVM restart. DV, oh, it's MMDVM host restart. So now, if I do a cat, uh, tail hyphen follow slash log uh, what ha uh, va log uh, pi star MMDVM log. See, it's logged into my DMR, and that should be okay. Um, I didn't get the I'll just double check that it has enabled Poxag there, enabled, no errors enabling the poxag so we should be good to go ah. of 
course there is no locate command on the Pi Star. Okay, I realize I forgot something. So we need to re-edit our thing, which we've gone back to read only again. So now we go to here, scroll all the way down to the bottom, because I need to find a thing called remote control and I need to enable it and then we need to remember that port number 7642 yep so let's restart MMDVM host and now this is the command that we need to use so we need the port 7642 the command page our RIC is 0, 0, 5, 0, 5, 4, 8. That should do it. I think it's only a 7 digit. And then we'll go it apparently sent it. So what we'll do is we'll check our log here. Valid command page received and I haven't received any page. That is weird. Why don't we change the frequency to 438.9 So now we'll change this As long as we're keeping the 77 in a band Being a ham operator I can do this Poxag So 438 decimal 9 0 0 0 restart make sure it's fully loaded it's up and running and now if we send our remote command look at that it works holy shit <laughs> now that is cool there you go the POXAG decoding actually works. Um, 50548. The message is hello world. I'll go penis. That is all. <laughs> oh, you're going to love that. Awesome. If you like this video, please uh, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. 73s.